Welcome, everybody. We are live on the Perfect Ten. I am, of course, not in my normal environment. I am on, on, on remote. On remote, on location. On remote. And, of course, what better place to be in a college room when discussing college mascots, right? Why not? Damn right. Yeah. <laughs> of course, my mirrored image man, Clint, over there. <laughs> that word is today. And, of yeah. course, we, we have, have the so creator. We I got it. The creator. Finally. Of this whole idea. The, yep. the guy that was lucky enough to bless basically us let us bless us and let us do this. I say look out for us, yep. man. Yep. Yeah, As yeah. you see by the tag name, man, the, the, I'm the Lansky to a Luciano, man. You know, the mafia. <laughs> <throwback term. Right. laughs> term, now we know what he was talking about in our chat the other day, George. Right? <laughs> Don't worry, Georgie Siegel. I got you too, man. I got you too. <laughs> He was tight. He was tight with him too. <laughs> <laughs> the star of the show, though. Man, does that mean, with his that, presence. Does that, does that still count, even though I don't have a show, other than still doing Aces? You, just, you yeah, the star. You created this show, so you the star well, of this show. Yeah, you are absolutely. <laughs> well, it, I'm glad. I'm glad like somebody. I'm glad Griffin, somebody like realizes Griffin. that. You're Merv Griffin, and we just like the host and everything. You do all the best. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, well placed. <laughs> Absolutely. Well played, Frank. Well played. That is awesome. I came down off the fly, too. <laughs> That's usually the best ones, too, isn't it? Yeah, right? they are. That's how I do it. Bless you. I think that was a sneeze, right? Yeah, thanks. See, so you're allergic yeah. to the air up, up there in Michigan, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the allergies were not so bad when I lived up here before. No. Like going back down to Ohio is where all of a sudden the allergies kicked back in. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's you only true. get it for a couple hours and then the snow falls and you get all four seasons. So, I mean. True. True. Very true. True, true. What's up, Scott? Scott said, what's up, fellas? What's happening? How you doing? Jordan is how you doing? I know, right? You gotta say it like Norbit. Oh, nah, I, 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 Was that I, her name? I don't remember. Muscusia. Just the way she, she said like, it. How you doing? Like how you with doing? The, with the staff in her face. Uh, how you doing? With the staff and everything in her voice. Hold on. Anyway, um. Trying to work some magic over here on my phone. Right. Appreciate that. So tonight's massive list of our perfect lists, we are going with college mascots. So, so I mean. The star picked this. Yep. Well, I mean, because I wanted to do, well, I originally wanted to do, let's, let's throw this out there for the disclaimer that we were going to yeah. do the top ten mascots and all of sports but then when you start googling and you start looking it up it's like well shit we could break this down into like four or five different shows if you just do it by like college one night nfl mlb you know nba all that you know so yep. i figure we'll go and i know we could have probably started with the nfl since the nfl kind of you know all their preseason games have started and stuff now but i want to get i'm more into college so i'm like let's just do the college and you know because the one we originally wanted to do, Clint wasn't ready for because he said he's tired of fantasy stuff, so we had to back off on that one. <laughs> I'm into a fan, yeah. Uh, it's so it happens. Fantasy. It happens. Sparty show's over. No. No Sparty. No. Hey, 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 hey. You'll have to make my list. <laughs> well, you'll have to. We'll, we'll, you know, we've got three, three of us here. There'll be three different lists. That's for sure. I'm just curious how many, because, I mean, granted, there's a shit ton of colleges. I'm just yeah. curious how many we'll have that are duplicates, that, like, we, you know, that made our list that are the same. Yeah, we're probably going to have some duplicates. Which is fine, but. Yeah, how many? The question is, who will have who will have one at the same. Uh, spot. Same spot. <laughs> if that happens. Yeah, that will be interesting. That will be interesting. Well, 
<laughs> Mr. Creator, the floor is yours, sir. Oh, I get to start it off, huh? We will, Mr. We will Mr. 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 Luciano. Roll. Yeah. Well, call him uh, Mr. Luciano. So, That's what I'm going to call him. Now, with the thing you have with college more so than any other is that you get the tendency to have actual live animals be the mascot. More so than and you know any other obviously sport. So, and my first things first is I got to give props to the dudes that got to run out with this big son of a bitch and then try to slow him down every home game. But I went with Ralphie the Buffalo from Colorado as number ten. <laughs> yeah, that is that. Hey, Ralphie made it's my a, dude. List. You, you got like yeah. You got four dudes that got to run out with this thing with some straps and then expect to slow his big ass down. On a dime, and, and like, and you only got only a little bit of football field and space to run. Like, I'm waiting for somebody to start running into a wall or something at some point because he didn't slow down fast enough. <laughs> by or the way, get trampled by him. By that the, too. By the way, fun fact: I don't know if everybody noticed, Ralphie is a she, not a he. Really? Yeah, well, it, yeah I didn't know she. that. <laughs> wow. They went with a female buffalo because. They say a female female buffalo is less, less aggressive. Less aggressive. <laughs> so you can easily control her compared to like if it was a male buffalo. So yeah. I, I would normally say something in this situation, but I'm gonna keep it PG and just be nice and not offend our female viewers. <laughs> I think Jean said she was sleeping, right? <laughs> well, yeah, she's got to get up early, right? Yeah. It's according to what she said. But- yeah, but she'll I told still, her no. She'll still no, catch hell tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, I'll, yeah. Regardless, that's why I'm just gonna zip it and move on, and we'll let Clint do his number ten. Oh, uh, yeah, my number ten is. I'm going with uh, what do they qualify as the Big Twelve? I think. Oh, well, right at right as of right now, who knows? It, it, yeah, it, it, I uh. Been, yeah, I went with uh, I went with Pistol Pete from Oklahoma State. Probably one of the creepiest headgears too, though. I know, but it's the old Western vibe, though. It's like the right, old Western right. cowboy dude with he's, the guns. He's still got the spurs <laughs> on the boots too, which is actually based off Frank Eaton. Which is funny because they put up their like his story. They said he watched his dad get killed by six vigilantes at the age of eight. And then by the time he turned 15, he killed all five of his father's killers. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, (laughs) that's 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 crazy. (laughs) A little bit. Like, God damn. Okay, then. But, yeah, that's my number 10, though. Of course, you always see Oklahoma State on five because they always ABC because they always own at least two. Saturday night football games a year. Right. Oh, you already know Brutus is on my list. And what's up, Mick, Scott? We got Aaron watching, too. Uh, Let me get that back up. If Brutus wasn't on my list, I lose my Buckeye strikes. Yeah. Um, I I didn't want to get too much grief from PETA, so I didn't do too many animals. So (laughs) I want to listen. My... My my number ten spot claims the uh, Notre Dame leprechaun. I could put them on my list. See, that's one of like I told you guys before we went on air. That's one of three. I just can't stand. I just can't stand. <laughs> I just can't stand. I don't know if but, I hate more Notre Dame fans or college you know, fans. But the thing is, is that you know you have a student who has to actually try out to get these spots. You know. You've got to have, you know, the, the whole charisma and try to build. You have to get into character for this. So, you know, kudos to all these folks who, A, the ones who have to sweat their butts off in the costumes. Yeah. <laughs> those, those are, I mean, come on. I mean, yeah. those things, I've, I've had to do it for the YMCA. They have an owl. And I had to do that several times. And I said, I give much respect for these students who have to be in these things because to be in it for five to eight hours is not an easy task. And it's funny, funny you say that because years ago when I was about 18, I worked at Toys R Us. They wanted me to put the Jeffrey costume on, but okay, now mind you, as big as I am, and as obviously uh, <clears throat> Jeffrey the giraffe, 
was not a very big costume whatsoever. Somebody was probably you had to be like six foot or less to wear the damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Scott, you're wrong. Ohio State fans are the worst. You shut your mouth. Can I mute him? He's the star. Yep. I get a pass just, just for one, tonight. Just the oh, one time. Just, 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 time. Just, just the one time I can go back and forth with him about something. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and, and, and without that, losing my job. <laughs> <laughs> but he said I will never be fired. So. Well, the kicker to the Notre I'm Dame. I'm honored one, by that. The kicker to the Notre Dame one is is the the person has to be redheaded Irish, you know. Yeah. So that's that's not an easy easy ordeal either so you know to have to sit there and go wow now you're really you have to limit it down to somebody you know I that's even tougher sign guy starting his shit i see it's just, to be talking to adam for two hours is not easy jim you haven't watched the monday night show no <laughs> slacker <laughs> talk to the star is easy <laughs> very easy all righty, so that was my number 10. See, I, can, I can agree with Scott on that. No. All right, my number nine, I simply just picked this one. Hold on. Motorcycle, I didn't want it to be too loud. Um, the joys of sitting outside on the porch. But my hey. number nine is for, is, is for the name alone, and that's Cocky the Gamecock from South Carolina. <laughs> Couldn't pass that how up. Did I, I was going to say, how did, after we've had somewhat of a conversation about this, I had a weird feeling that there's going to be a few of those on your list. Right. <laughs> but that was my number nine. Just I, I, I literally, in my notes, I put, just for name alone. Enough said. And Mrs. says, I would have loved to see you as Jeffrey. There's a lot of people that said they wish they're like, why don't you dress up as Jeffrey when they seen the costume? And then when they came in and actually seen it in the store, they were like, oh, yeah, it's too small. You would have never fit in it. <laughs> you really smart enough to do a drive by. <laughs> That'd be in a semi. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> That's a wow. name I ain't heard in a while. Lurch. Right. <laughs> Lurch. Hey, you never know. It's it's like a college room. Everybody comes in. <coughs> I, oh, no offense, Scott, but that's I mean, I was say, Scott. And this know. and this is fitting with what I just said. But to me, there's a little bit too many cocks in that room. I'm not seeing enough females. <laughs> <laughs> just <Got> it. It. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> And this show just jumps the shark. Yeah, hey, Suds isn't here. I gotta. Somebody's gotta he's help us. Suds is in here. Yes, that's why you start. That's why me. Suds doesn't come on this show. That's a, that's tomorrow. Right. I don't have to. I don't have to work with show. mute buttons right now. That's the best part about this. I don't have to work <laughs> with mute buttons. Oh, Sanders, really? <laughs> Scott, you can flip off Mr. Sanders anytime you'd like. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, Clint, what you got? All right, number nine. It's another mascot I put on here. I respect this mascot. Another mascot I can't fucking stand. I can't stand this mascot neither. Neither. <laughs> but it made your list. He had to, man. I can't I can't ignore him. That's 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 Oregon's mascot. I mean Donald Duck. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, he's in the Hall of Fame. He's on commercials. <laughs> he's on a mascot that's everywhere. <laughs> the dick for a mascot. Since I see him, I want to punch him in the fucking face. <laughs> hey, Damn. We're about to get violent on this one. Who I hurt you? I was going to uh, say, you just need to be careful when you come over for the draft on the 28th because you're in Oregon territory there. Mr. Yes, Burks, you are, Bird. Big, big Oregon fan. Tread that's lightly. Cool. I, that's cool. I can rub the fat. I can say fifty six twenty seven. I mean, that's all I have to say. Oh. And feel good. <laughs> Clint, careful. Don't say that at the. Don't you do not say that at the draft party. I'm no. just messing. I won't. I won't. I'm just messing with him. 
I like Oregon's Bur uniforms. Uh, I like their helmet. I just don't like their mascots. Burrage Bur Bur takes it all in jest, but he will turn around and he will remind people every now and again. <laughs> you might get a spike drink for that one. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no spike drinks, please. <laughs> but yeah, Oregon's not enough. I mean, they made my list, though. Yeah, true. I mean, right. All right, my number nine again is another one where you got to have the serious guns and be built like a brick house to turn around and have this spot. It's the San Diego State Aztec, mm -hmm. who ironically is also under scrutiny now. There's some student group that's trying to get that character out. Well, it's always something. We had a long time ago. Yeah. Every single team has got problems they had. Yep. We had every, yeah, Scott and I, he was just saying, we talked about every other school that was going to have to change a mascot because it would piss somebody off for political. Well, did you see, did you see that the, there's a, a group in Ohio that went through all the high schools and if there's anything related to a Native American, they want you to change. Wow. Shocker, They're starting that now. I'm not surprised. Guess what? You know, I and I was just even saying we literally it's like if all of these Native American mascots all have to be deleted and are getting erased, it's like we could totally have your whole history erased. No right. problem, no offense. You're now delete. We'll delete you. You'll be totally Literally. deleted off. It's like, oh, congratulations. All of this was named not as a negative aspect of any sort of way. It was supposed to be a positive and in honoring the teams. You know, and, and that's why the teams were named for that. It's like to honor that past. Yeah. You want to turn around and pull it all. Hey, guess what? They got no problem. Delete, no sweat, no problem. Bye-bye. Goodbye. I still, Scott, I still can't get over that whole Guardian thing. It's still going to take me a while to get used to saying that. Oh, that's okay. Ran into yep. a fellow Indian fan up here last night, and he actually came down to Cleveland last weekend for the baseball game. And, and they're starting it. He said he is still pissed about the name change. And he said he's not He's not just upset, he's pissed. Yeah, because we went to last Friday's game when they played Detroit, and they have the – on Friday nights when they do like the um, block party out back in the center field area. Yep. They, uh, the, the street team or the whatever – the hype team, whatever they have there, kept trying to promote the Go Guardians. And it's like, no, bitch, it's still Indians for the rest of the season, so don't start that shit. Yeah. Did they get rid of the, the guy banging the drums too? That, no, no, I don't think he has. I don't think. Um, shoot, I forgot what the guy's name was. Thanks. All of a sudden, I've main brain farted. Um, the guy who's the our drummer, John Adams. Thank you. He's not gone yet. He's still he hasn't there. been all year. He hasn't been all year. I haven't. I didn't see him. I didn't hear him at all on Friday either. So. I mean, that was a big thing. That was part of, you know, when going to the individual baseball parks, each of them had their own thing. That was Cleveland's thing. Yeah. You know, it's like you know, up, Boston, you got to do the, the seventh inning stretch, you know, the most, whatever the heck of thing is. Hang on. Yeah. No. Jim brings up a good point, though. Sweet, sweet Caroline. Oh, yeah, the Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline yeah. in Boston, you know. So, yep. like, you know, now they're going to make them all just block. You know, Aaron's health said, issues for John. Aaron Adam. says health issues. Yeah, I knew it was something with his health. But Jim brings up a very good point because, yeah, you're going to sit there and now have to change everything because it's going to piss somebody off or offend somebody. We live in a soft ass society nowadays. Yeah. We this is, it's uncalled for. It and just like old, good. what was it, Claude Banks and Ray Gibson said, soft. S O F capital C soft. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I still like the other day. way. S A W F T. Yeah, that one too. Oh, that works. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. 
They both work. Yeah, they do. Eight ball time. All right, number eight. Um, there's a lot that I've noticed when looking at this list or going through trying to find. Jim, you hush your goddamn mouth. The hell? Um, that's just let's see. That's that you don't see when Stiller fans talk like that. We they we, they, we don't they don't get no mind paid today. <laughs> but as I've noticed, I don't know if you guys noticed it as well <laughs> that there's a lot of teams that the mascot doesn't ha- really have anything to do with the actual team itself. And this one's a prime example. And this one was actually as plain Jane as it is was des- actually designed by Disney engineers. And that's Big Al from Alabama. Oh, oh the el- yeah, the elephant. <clears throat> Which, what does that have? Crimson Tide, elephant, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But it's it fits them. And, and then, like we were talking about off air, there's Big Al, and now they have Big Alberta, the female counterpart to him. Yeah. But I was surprised that it was. I'm like, I look at it. And I'm like, Disney engineers came up with this. That's the best they could come up with. Like, it's even more complex than that, you know. <laughs> it is Disney. That is true. It, it is Disney. Disney. And well, it's I an iconic it. thing. When, when you think of Alabama, you always think of Big Al, anyways. So. Right. But that's my number eight. I, I like this. Waiting for Detroit to change the Tigers and Lions due to PETA. Uh-huh. Yeah. Don't push it. Uh-huh. I was going to say dead. That's yeah, that's well, when everybody's pistons too because of the horse. Yeah, but the pistons they can just delete the horse and just go back to showing you pistons in the engine. Whatever. <laughs> 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 was a nice mascot, a Ford engine. Woo! <laughs> right. <laughs> <clears throat> Found on the road dead daily. Oh yeah. <sighs> All right, Clint, what do you got as your number eight? Oh, my number Don't eight. Let, oh, God. That's going to get Suds going when he's, if he were to walk, if he was watching and saw that. No, Acres. It would have been Acres. Well, no, because how Suds wants that Rubber Ducks gear now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. He wants that Rubber Ducks jersey. <laughs> God, we're, uh, Suds is starting to come up with his GoFundMe for a Rubber Ducks jersey for $150. Holy shit. <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot. That's what he wants. That's what they want for it. I was like, dude. I don't even pay that for any Stitch jersey. Screw that. I just got me a Donovan Peoples Jones jersey for fucking seventy-two bucks. Yeah, I was waiting for. Don't forget around to get some. Well, fat boy sizes. That's why it had to go a little higher. You know, yeah. we got to pay the extra material. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, Clint. Go ahead, finish up. We didn't mean to interrupt, bud. Oh no, you're good. Uh, my number eight. Uh, well. I kind of went with kind of that like male female couple for a mascot. I went with Wilbur and Wilma Wildcat. That's the mascot from Arizona. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. They even played to the point where they got married all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> They're everywhere on campus. <laughs> campus. So, and of course, the Arizona play a lot of them ten thirty games, and they usually suck. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, but you know what? It sometimes you catch the what is it? The basketball team, right? Eleven o'clock. It's like eleven o'clock or twelve o'clock. You can catch the Hawaii games on TV. Oh, wow. oh, hey, it's always fun to watch Hawaii football. Oh yeah, they just throw, 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 throw. They score mm-hmm. a lot of points. Yes. Point scoring fiasco. I like when they bring back the old school fucking rainbow jerseys, though. With the on the helmet and shit, not yep. the Warriors. Yeah. Oh, they had to change that though, cause it yep. the people off. Oh hell no! I ain't even. I I'm not even acknowledging that, Jim. Sorry. My number eight is uh, again because it's politically gonna get taken away eventually. The Florida State Seminole, the Native American representative who rides the horse. And throws the spear. Throws the spear, and he is flaming spear at that. Right, and he is Native American, by the way. It is not somebody dressed up in a costume, as the as the one guy who was doing San Diego State's. Even he said, "We never called it a costume. It is a uniform." So 
those who are doing the live action stuff, they are called, they literally, it's like these guys, you know, we're saying even for some of these that there'll be a costume. These guys are, are quick to judge and say, no, it is not a costume. It is a uniform. Um, even for, for this one, plus the San Diego State, plus the Notre Dame one, they are all handmade, done up. It, it's not like you can go just into Walmart or something and go buy fabric. It's No, these guys, they actually get them. They are done by designers, and it's pretty badass, especially both this one and the San Diego State Aztec. You know, I mean, the intricate details on these things, they said, they nailed it down to exact from what was worn back in those eras. So, you know, kudos to them. But, yeah, my number eight is the Seminole. He's on my list, but he's a little higher up. Yeah, I'm higher, too. Fair enough. Nope. Fair enough. Like I said, hey, we got him on the list. You know, He made all three. Yeah. All right, number seven. For me, I this is probably one of I just I, I love the I just like the 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 character and everything about it. I know a lot of people won't if they're biblical, and that's Sparky Sun Devil. He's just got one of the coolest costumes. Yeah, in my opinion, Honorable you know, he, he, right? This close, I want to right? Him. Yeah, I'm glad he made the list. Yeah, I am too because yeah, that is a fun one. That is a fun one too. He's always got like that sly devilish grin too, which is perfect. You know what I mean? Yep. But that's my number seven. Around. Yep. Uh, what my number, my number seven. Uh, we're gonna go to, and uh, we're gonna keep this one in Ohio. Ohio. Okay. Rocky the Rocket, Toledo. Yep. <laughs> All right. The nice space thing with the helmet, with the astronaut helmet over the face. <laughs> huh? I, I got to look this one up. You, you haven't seen it before? You never seen it before? No. I actually I actually went to the Toledo game when they played the Hurricanes because my buddy's a big Hurricanes fan, and we went to that what? game, and that's when I seen him. Okay. Uh, it was like a smirk. Looks like a Power Ranger. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like a Power Ranger. That's yeah, that's the best way to. Oh, now I can see it better. Yeah, it's, yeah. it looks like a, it's a Power Ranger. That's interesting. All right. And if you if you've it's never so been to, to a Toledo game, now yeah. we all know my love and hatred for that school down in the state of you know the capital of Ohio. You guys have your little four-letter thing you like to always say because you know you're you're so proud of yourself you can spell it out with your hands and shit. <laughs> but Toledo is the second most annoying fucking thing that they do, and they spell out Toledo, but they do it where it's T O L. Like half the stadium says T O L, and then the other yeah. half says E D O. Oh my god! Was like by like the second quarter, me and my buddy were like, dude, I've had enough of this shit. It was fucking annoying. It's like. <laughs> it's like when you go to. <laughs> it's like we talking about. It's like with John. That's a lot of effort. Like, to we stop. like Cena, Cena, like it's right, exactly. <laughs> but not as fun. Scott says, "Let's see. Hang on, let me bring it back up. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it back up." <clears throat> well, nobody might have asked a peanut gallery, Jim, but I'm gonna say it anyways because that's just who I am. <laughs> Gail, get your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, share screen. She's in the background. The winner. So far. I would do it, but George, you know how to do all that share screen and crap. Yeah. And and believe me, since I'm on a single screen, it makes it a little tricky. A little bit hard, difficult. Yeah, just a tad bit. <laughs> I gotta figure that. So there's our uh, there's our Mr. and Mrs. Rockets. <laughs> That's the Mr. and Mrs. Rockets. So there you go, Scott. <laughs> <clears throat>
Nobody asked the peanut gallery. Really? Did you see his comment? Because I said, Gail, get your boyfriend. He goes, I'm not worthy to be Gail's boyfriend. Side piece, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we still love you, Jim. All right. Well, my number seven. Is actually, interesting? Adam, yeah. Adam, you're not the only one. You went Sun Devil. Well, my number seven is the Blue Devil. The Duke Blue Devil is where I went to. I was like, I no, also had a double in the seven. I just so, hate school. I just hate their team. Hate their <laughs> could, could, you, could you imagine if we, if we all three would have had the devil, but it would have been in the six spot? Say, had a devil in the seven spot? Yeah, six a, spot. The oh, six in the spot. six spot? Yeah, that, yeah. Three sixes? That, that would have been a Glad we didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Glad. I'm super paranoid about that. <laughs> no, 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 we don't know nothing about that. No, nothing. <laughs> All right, let's slide it. Roll the sixes. All right. So for my number six, it's, it's we're going to go to <clears throat> this is going to be one of the uh, schools that is defecting to the SEC <laughs> in the next couple of years. <clears throat> and I just think it'd be a cool tradition to see in person. And that's good old Baker Mayfield's alma mater, the Boomer Sooner. Where they come out riding the covered wagon and shit, and nine times out of ten, I think I've seen it a couple times where that bitch tipped over. West Virginia. Which is, which is hilarious. Right. Like, if you're gonna be doing this thing, how you know, keep the thing up. It was so funny. Learn how to drive. It's like how drunk are you when you ride? Well, they the, were the beating the hell out of West Virginia. So the the, the, the whole talk of the game was just that it just tipped over. <laughs> The best part is, is when they do it, you see the guy is like, he's still holding on to the reins and he's leaning with it, like, oh shit, oh shit. And then he just kind of lets go. You're going. You're yeah, going. you ain't stopping that from going over. Nope. Nope. Big old thing, and it's going. It's like, hang on, honey. We're going down. Oh, man. Whew. What you got at six, Clint? Well, at number six, the star went with Oklahoma. I went with the rivalry. I oh. went with Texas. Bebo. Oh. <laughs> well, only that to hook them horns, but also the fact that we just randomly just do the Texas thing, not even knowing that we like doing it. <laughs> NBA players right. do it all the time. Like it's just it's just a natural reaction. <laughs> reaction. And this thing, since 1916. They weigh over eighteen hundred pounds. Damn. They don't run out there. Do they run out with him too? Usually, yeah. I, I didn't know if they, they just kind of kept him on the sideline, kind of thing. His horn span is fifty-eight. Oh, What's I'm saying? Like you trying to run with that thing, and he turns his head the wrong way. You're getting gored right through your leg. Yeah. Thankfully, it's never happened. Knock on wood. At right. least that we know of. Yeah. Because that would still hurt like hell. Yeah. Oh, it definitely would. That's for sure. It's a lawsuit. <clears throat> All right. All right. My number six. <sighs> it's the U. The another goofy duck. Is the Miami Hurricanes. I just Turn like the U. <laughs> It's, you know, I mean, come on. It's like when Miami is ever mentioned, it's the first damn thing. It's me, I mean. I, you always see the damn duck. It's like it's not I a mean, duck, I mean. actually. It's an ebus. Yeah. If it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck. I'm just like saying. It's an ebus. Yeah. Hey, we live in a, politic a politically correct society now. You might offend somebody by calling him a duck. Good. They can write to me. <laughs> His email is <laughs> third <laughs> after Yahoo. Right. <laughs> the one I never check. Right. <laughs> That's why I give it. It will go to the and when I do and I record think it's something, it goes to spam. Spam. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. So we're five. All right. Now <laughs> this this one a lot of people probably won't know about. 
and that is Monty the Bear from Montana. Only for the simple fact that it's a fucking bear on a Harley. Enough said. That's badass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. You gotta look that up, though, yeah. Yeah. He rides a Harley out. (laughs) You seen what what the side guy said? (laughs) If it looked like a duck. Where? Like a duck. What, 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 no what college is it? Mon, uh, Montana. The Montana Grizz. University? That's Montana a good one, Jack. University? Mon- yeah, you got to share that one. M-O-N-T-E. I might look that one up myself. All right. Um, Who was it? My cat state? Bingo. I got him. Got him. I got him. Forgive the share screen. We're, we're, uh, I mean, he said a bear on the Harley. That, that, that is enough said, though. <laughs> oh, that's nice. There it is. That's nice. That's impressive. Yes. That is very yes. impressive. You get to ride a motorcycle and you turn around and you are in that bad boy, and you have to ride it. And the thing is, is you know how you were talking. Richie's like, talking, oh, no, it's hard enough just to ride the damn bike, and then you have to be wearing that. Completely. And well, think about it. He, he's even got a leather coat on. That head. I know, right? Yeah. He's still With a leather the coat. You talk about somebody who is sweating, sweating like. Well, maybe not. Montana's not that hot, right? <laughs> Well, oh, no. still, that's no, right. It doesn't matter. It could be you. Listen, I've worn that damn costume. It was only sixty-five degrees out. You still sweating that sucker, right? <laughs> and I'm for as that. much I'm as that. all that, plus you're on the motorcycle, and those th- motorcycles warm up pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's impressive. Yeah, I, I'll give him credit on that. Sure, a <laughs> hundred. See that one coming, did you? No. Nope, not one bit. That was an impressive one. I like that. Yeah. Clint, what you got? Uh, number five. My number five. I like this guy. This guy's five because it got it, 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 it. I feel like this mascot is like will ride for his team in a way. I mean, when you take and bite out of players, <laughs> <laughs> you cool with me. <laughs> uh, that's Smokey from Tennessee. <laughs> oh. Smokey dog. I mean, when you buying kickers and like you buying Alabama players, you, you all right with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, no said, like, <laughs> <laughs> I want my mask got to be like, yeah. I'm going to take a chunk out of you. I'm going to take a chunk out of you. Not even tell you I'm going to do it. Oh, look who's arrived to the party. He's not even good enough to be the fucking mascot. His, 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 his the school of North mascot now khaki pants. <laughs> and his big man Brian is still his mascot? <laughs> wow. Shots oh, fired. Hey. Come at the star, I come back. <laughs> <laughs> shots fired. No shots fired. <laughs> Just friendly, uh, you know, uh, fellowship, that's all. Yeah, you know. My guy, man. Uh, my number five is now also got a Mr. and Mrs., and that is the Florida Gators. I, I was going to say, I, I almost put them on my list because I've always liked them too, but Albie and what's the other one? Uh, Alberta. Alberta. Yeah, they didn't make my list yet. That is your one. Yeah, um, but yeah. My Buckeye for the championship. They can go and, and that one, and like I said, that one's the one where I saw there was a lot of crowd interaction and they do such a great job going in and with the crowd and working between you know guys and gals and it's a lot right. of fun to watch them. So I love the other... that do that 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 the male and female mascots like the that's why I like Will Wilbur and Wilma like like they interact with both male and female like 
And you can go the other way with it too. I mean, I feel right. like more mascots will probably start doing that, having the male and female version. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. No, Chipper. No, I don't even think we have a mascot. To be honest with you, I don't think Michigan has ever had one. <coughs> oh, <my. laughs> oh, boo. oh, boo! That's not even funny. Oh. Dad oh. joke. I made dinner for dinner tonight, but I only had a crock pot. Then That's I'm a good gonna... one, though. We'll give you that one. We'll give you that one. There was creativity involved. It was. We will get. We will give you that one, Jim. We'll give you that one. Yep. Gator's good, though. I had Gator before, though. It is good. It's good. All right. Said, Number... <laughs> Love you too, Chipper. You know that. Yeah, Even though you like that team over there in Pittsburgh. <laughs> it's a, I'll be the mascot. <laughs> Um, number four, uh, this one, I'm probably going to butcher the name, but this is, this is an icon in itself because you can't think of this school without two things, the, the mascot itself and the legend that went there. And that's, I think it's Ramesses from North Carolina. The Ram. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow. Took you a minute? Yeah, there's a few. Yeah. See, there's a few that you just – I'm glad when you see that. You, it's like, yeah, there's there's a lot. Think about it. You you think of North Carolina. You think of the icon that it is. The the mascot's known for – obviously, you see him. You think North Carolina and Michael Jordan. You just put the two and two together. Right. Yeah. So that was my number four. Oh, yeah. Ram. Oh. <laughs> They say I tried to like I'm looking. It's like it's like the way they I asked them how you pronounce it. It was like Ramesses or Ramesses or it was weird how it doesn't look it's like, like it's Ramesses. pronounced. Yeah, it's not a bad mascot though. No, no, no not at all. They got that games too with the what's the name? That's nice. Not a bad mascot. Oh, Scott. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to run and take a potty break when you guys can do your number four, and I'll come back. <laughs> no problem. We'll, we'll, kill, we'll kill time for you. Anything for the creator. Anything for the man. Not talking Becky Lynch. Number four, right? Yep, we're on number four. Well, my number four. Mascot, unfortunately, don't go to games no more. Uh, my number four is Mike the Tiger. Well, it has seven Mike the Tiger. That's LSU's mascot. Mascot. He don't go to games no more, unfortunately. Uh, but they started this in 1930s. They literally had every student donate a quarter to buy a fucking tiger. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Like, how raw is that? Everybody in the school, like, we're just going to donate money to buy a tiger. Tiger. And make it our mascot. Then LSU <laughs> built a $3 million habitat, which is 15,000 square feet, which has plant life, a waterfall, and a stream, and areas for him to climb. And this is how OG of a mascot he is. They would basically, like, open the cage and be like, they would basically open this cage and if he get out or feel out moving, then they'll put him in the cage. And of course, you know the thing with the cheerleaders that's on top of the cage, and they'll roll into the stadium. If he don't feel like moving, they'd be like, "Well, okay, it's whatever. We're just going without you. <laughs> it's no problem." <laughs> we found we found your ram. We found your ram. It's a cool looking mascot. It is. Yeah, I had it on my list, Chipper. So. Yeah, so my number, so that is uh, my four is uh, LSU. That's crazy, though. Mike the Tiger? Yeah, I told you, George, they, every student donated a quarter to purchase him for 750 bucks. Jesus. That's awesome, right? The thing about it, though, like, you want to buy a Tiger? Why we just put all the money in to buy a Tiger? Oh, come on, Scott. Dang. <laughs> you leave Sister June alone, man. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, my team had to be the one to put them out that year. Cinderella run had to come to an end sooner or later. Yeah. 
But yeah, that's my number four, though. It's a hell of a habitat, though, Clint. It's one yeah, hell of a Yeah, fifteen dollars square feet. They paid three million. They it's, they built three. It cost them three million dollars. That's how much the habitat cost for them. It cost more to get the goddamn establish or the habitat than it did to get you get the damn tiger to put oh, in it. Really? Well, the tiger. Remember, they started this in 1936 is when they bought the tiger. Oh shit! I missed all that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, though, I said hey, you got plant life, a waterfall, and a stream that empties into a pond in like four climbing areas. So, wow. He can chill all day. Right. <laughs> Leave me alone. I ain't going out today. <laughs> My number four, Sanders. Oh, yeah, oh, put him on my list. Sorry, Sorry. Sorry. Rival school can't do it. He's there. Rival school can't do it. Right. <clears throat> one of the one of the big iconic ones, the major iconic ones. He's had to make a list, and yes, I put him on the list. That's cool. You the only one. Yeah. Yeah, well, I also have to go home to my wife, who is a Sparty, so guess what? Oh, oh you, had to put her on, you had to put her on the list. Had to put good, thing on. Put, good thing four or two, so it made the top five. Right? That's how you did that, George. Uh-huh. Smart I man. That I see that Georgia <laughs> Seagull. Smart man. <laughs> and, and it's just standard about damn time. You no, know, yeah. it's not the best, but it's top five. It's top five. <laughs> it's still top Thought five. Thought about you. Thought about you. Banana slugs of UC Santa Cruz. There were some weird ones that I saw on there when I was Googling them. I Banana seen one that was raw that didn't make my list. That's gonna the be... Pepperdine Wave. That was one. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. What about the... I saw one, the Wild Okra. I'm like, really? Yeah. Now we're going into yeah, vegetables? No, I don't like okra. Get the no. hell out of here. You know how many lists I came up and it was like, worst mascots and the Wild Okra yeah. was on one of the worst mascot <laughs> lists. I'm like... Why it's are Oprah. we doing vegetables? It's Oprah, right? Thank you, thank you. I don't want what? my mask got to be a vegetable or anything healthy can, at can, all. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'll say it. Can you imagine the eggplant? <laughs> and well, uh, yeah, not not with the not with the society we live in now, and it being an emoji. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would get banned real it quick. Would, it would make for a very interesting conversation. I'm about to check, about to check it out. <laughs> I'm about to check it out. Richie, yeah. get, get the female counterpart and have the peach. <laughs> oh, God, George. <laughs> All right. Richie uh, said it. I didn't. <laughs> right. All right. So my number three, yeah. my top three has already been already been said, you know, but I'm just going to go through them anyways. But And my number three is the Oregon duck just because, I'm sorry, a crowd surfing duck is good enough for me. You know what I'm saying? When you when you crowd surf in that stadium, that that's top notch shit right there. That that's ballsy. Yes, it is. Because that, 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 that head head pop Colorado. Pop. That right. head pop. <laughs> right. All, all right, Chipper. It's a nice mascot. It's a banana slug, but I when you look at the mascot and look at an actual banana slug, it, it kind of creeps it out a little bit. Does it? Yeah. But it's still a nice mascot though. But it's just like uh, I get it though. What in the blue hell? Oh, <laughs> hell no. oh okay. You gotta share it now, huh? Yeah, yo, I yes, put an actual banana slug next to the actual mascot, though. You see how I look? Like... <laughs> it's like. Are you serious? It looks like Shrek before Shrek became Disney and Pixar. There's <laughs> so there's a banana slug and there's the character. Yeah. Not even, not even close. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I get it, you know. Wow. That's funny. Now, we're the fighting banana slugs. Yeah, you're not intimidating whatsoever. <laughs> no, right. Sorry, what kind of Mickey Mouse organization came up with this one? Right. That's the Disney I mean, division. Is, I don't think I mean, that UC Santa Cruz. I mean, are they even really a popular school? Probably yeah, not. I don't think so. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Wow. Clint, what you what you got for three? My three was already mentioned. And again, it's a live 
Buffalo. <laughs> Ralphie, I just can't get over that. <laughs> like, you got the run. Like, <laughs> they're running with the thing. And not only does this thing run before the game, she runs at halftime, too. So, you're going to see Ralphie more than once a game. <laughs> a game. Well, you got to keep right. her ass moving because, you know, if you let her stand over on the sideline, she ain't going to want to do shit. Just leave me alone. <laughs> and the way they got it, they said they got to keep the students safe. They got two that in the front. They got two that's in the side, side, and then they have two behind. So, like. Pooper scoopers. Of course. Basically, like, if anything go crazy, then they can just all, oh, like, what's the name? So, <laughs> yeah. I like hey. that though. I put that as three. Began in 1934. Nice. That's the tradition. The first Ralphie oh. came and started in 1966. And again, Ralphie's a she, not a he. Which not I don't know, know that. gave it the name Ralphie if it's a she, but I don't know. Yeah. I <laughs> didn't want to make it that intimidating, apparently. Or yeah. make it, you know, so that it was still intimidating, even though it was a female. Yeah. But hey, you never know. <clears throat> well, it had to be done. My number three. Go ahead. Get it out. Get it out now. Get it out, Adam. Thanks, I'm going to have it on my list, too. Get him out. Get him out. Yay! <laughs> yeah. And I only have him at number three. You notice he's not two or one. He's at three. Yeah, Chipper's even like, uh, only three? Yep, only three. Only at three. I thought this was, the, this was the best mascot, not the worst mascot list. <laughs> I'm sorry, yours doesn't have a mascot. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, we do. It's called the coach, Jim Harbaugh. Because <laughs> he ain't a fucking coach. <laughs> what will happen when he when he finally leaves Michigan? What will he be? Will he, who will be the mascot? <laughs> At this point, I don't care. It's better than what we got now. Jesus Christ! <coughs> oh man! Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> wow! All right, the deuce. <clears throat> what you got it to? Oh. All right, so my number two, George, you mentioned it earlier, but it's just it's that I think it's called Chief Osceola is the one from Florida State. I mean, you ride around on a damn horse and then you throw a flaming spear into the ground. That's fucking badass if you ask me. I don't care who you are. You know what I mean? So, and I went with that one just because it's also like George said, it's one of those things that it's controversial in a sense because you know it's an Indian and how everything is nowadays with that shit but I just think it's one of the more badass traditions in college yeah and like we said it, and it is a Native American who is the mascot and they don't take it as something slanderous they take it as it's an honor to turn around and be a part of it you know <clears throat> Uh, my number two. You see the handle again? Because that's my number two, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's one of them experiences. I want to go to a Florida State game just to see. See the whole thing. Right. I, there's a like, lot that it, I would. There's a the lot of traditions. That, it's not the fact that he throws the spear. As soon as he throws the spear, everybody just starts chanting. <laughs> well, you know, the thing is, too, is that we, we could even make a top ten list of traditions in college because, like, think about it. Wisconsin with the whole fourth quarter and the jump around. Yeah. You know, that'd be something you want to see. You want to go to Penn State for a whiteout and see the how that is. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of shit. That's why I think college is so much better because there's so much more going on than in the it pros. Is. Well, the <laughs> – I, I actually got to bear witness to this one. We actually did the OHIO in East Lansing's stadium. It's kind of bizarre. <clears throat> I went to the Ohio State Michigan State game in East Lansing. You lost me at O oh, and I stopped listening. And I couldn't do it. I, I went to I, the game. I was <laughs> so full red and I went with five other people who are all Michigan State fans. And I am fully red, head to toe. And I was told, 
you know you are on your own once you get in that stadium. So in other words, any beer thrown on me, any fights that, you know, getting jumped, I'm on my own. We pulled up into the parking lot area where the tailgating was happening. Nothing but red everywhere. And my buddy's Suds was actually with me. And Suds goes, um, I'm with you. I went, uh-uh, that's not what you said 10 minutes ago. Your ass is on your own. On your own. Oh, no. We, we walked into the stadium. It is like every Michigan State ticket holder sold their tickets. This was 2002. Ring a bell for a championship? Yeah. So henceforth, the only green and white section was just the student section, a little tiny strip. That it was basically a home game in their stadium. A home game for Ohio State, and they did O-H-I-O all the way around the stadium in East Lansing. Michigan State fans not that bad. I said, I like, they, they do do some ribbon, like, though, like, kind of like, I, I firstly, I went to Michigan but the State whole stadium and Ohio State lost that game, red. unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, and then of course you with the fans, you're gonna get so ribbon, like, huh, y'all, oh, 285 in the national championship game, huh? He can't even get 80 today, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> but they was cool with it though. Clemson, I, is it Clemson or is it no, who was or LSU or somebody comes out to that? Hell yeah, enter the same man. Man opening. <clears throat> I mean, you got Howard's Rock where the Clemson runs down the hill. You know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be kind of a cool thing to see. Yeah, that looks very cool, too. Yes, absolutely. Good one there, Aaron. Um, My number two was, as much as I'm not such a big fan, but it is. Virginia Tech comes out to enter the Sandman. I knew it was down that way. Um, A lot of the college Virginia Tech. USC Trojan is my number two. That is one of the more. He um, almost made my list. It's, you know, it, for as I much as I've always had to watch a whole so bunch lately. of a whole bunch of those games, it's just like, you know, that is one of the things. And you see a USC game being advertised on TV. They're always showing the USC Trojan in every commercial. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, yeah, and Chip, I am. In that state up north right now, in college room for college mascots. So I'm on remote. All right. It's time for the numero unos. Now, you know, me being me, I couldn't just have one. I have a 1A and a 1B because it could go either or with both of them. You but are the you creator. Are- you are the right. creator. You do whatever you have want. A one man. A B C D. If you well, I wasn't gonna. We, we, top of you. We, one, we only got an hour. <laughs> but, and uh, we've got as much time for you as needed. Right, but my you already mentioned it earlier, George, and that's Sebastian the Ebus, because that as a, as a kid growing up, that was one of the first stuffed animals I had was that actual bird itself uh, as a stuffed animal growing up as it, like a kid or whatever. And then you can't, uh, I don't know if you want to, they have technically two mascots at this school and one's a live version and one's the actual mascot. And that's, I don't know how, I don't, I don't know if they call them Uga or Uga or whatever the fuck it is, but, and then Harry dog, but the bulldogs of Georgia, like when you have a fucking English bulldog as your mascot running on the field, that's, that's, you can't, how can you, awesome. you, can't, you can't hate an English bulldog. You just can't, you know what I mean? Everybody wants to take selfies one. with the little dog. At the end, even right. the team player want to take selfies with the dog. <laughs> right. Absolutely. All right. But yeah, so that that would be kind of my two. I mean, I think those are pretty. You know, that's just me, but. Mute. <laughs> Yeah, that's Adam. All right. Number one. Come on, y'all already know who number one is, man. The Buckeye head, the Woody Hayes hat, the double zero with the red pants, the tile hanging off the front, the white socks, black shoes. And male and female students both served as Brutus Buckeye before. 
though it ain't just men that been Brutus the Buckeye. <laughs> Buckeye. And again, mascot Hall of Fame in 2007, just like the uh, Oregon mascot on ESPN, game shows, Home Depot commercials. I mean, come on, man, Brutus. Hand down, number one. Shout out for, well, shout out for doubt. <laughs> what? Oh, I, was I don't know say, what was said, but yeah, he, yeah. he cut me out yeah. and mute and mute <laughs> mute mode. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sanders is saying his fingers up also. That's cool. Y'all can't beat us to save y'all lives anyway, so it's okay. All right, <clears throat> beat us. Dan could talk. Oh, you already know Chipper is gonna be number one without a shadow of a doubt. It's gonna be number one. <clears throat> there <it> is. <laughs> ah, it makes his debut. <laughs> do push-ups after a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, I think don't Oregon. I think don't Oregon do that. Did Doug do that? Push up after a touchdown. No, he's saying because Brutus does. That's what he's getting at. Yeah. Yeah. Oregon, yeah All right. Yeah, Oregon does it too. Unfortunately, they. This this is this is the brand new ultimate number one mascot and saving the best for last. And I already sent a snapshot to Mr. Burridge because he is just gonna be loving this. Oh god, you pay Oregon, didn't you? <clears throat> oh yeah, the keg. Let me introduce oh! you to Peggy the keg from Dartmouth. That's nice. <laughs> It is somebody my that, new somebody that favorite beer. number one. I may be allergic to beer, beer yeah. but when I saw this, I'm like, that is student power right there in action. Hell yeah. I mean, what can you look? After you have... in 2003, they had to replace their Native American mascot, and boom. <laughs> yes, Chipper, a keg. What symbolize, yes. what symbolize the college atmosphere more than the keg as your mascot? <laughs> and the thing is, is isn't Dartmouth more of like they? It's a it's a harder college to get into because you actually have to be smart to go there. Like you know, it's kind of shit. Is an, yeah, yeah, Ivy League. Yeah, Ivy League school. Yep, a Ivy League school. And they're they and win it's even a keg. More. <laughs> yes. And yes. my favorite Ivy League school. They're like, well, they're, they're trying to know. tell you that yeah, we may have brains, but we still like to drink. Who's yeah. your favorite Ivy League school? Dharma, because they have a keg as their mascot. Yeah. God damn it. That's it. And, and, <laughs> yep. And it was 2003, and they turn around, and they've <laughs> – this thing was actually – the little bit of history that it was posted was <laughs> this thing was actually denied entrance into a hockey game and a football game, saying that it's – um <clears throat> because it was sold out, he says it would be – um, a uh, what was it that it it, it could turn around and uh, yeah, po uh, safety concern for everybody because they couldn't let in the mascot. I'm like, wait a minute, you got all these people and you have a mascot for the school, but they said due to fire code concerns and a capacity crowd. You're not adding one more in a kegger. Come on. No. That's his name too, right? Kegger the keg, isn't it? Keggy. It's Keggy the keg. Okay, that's what I thought. It's hard to read it because it was such small print. That's why I'm like, wait, what's that say? Keggy the keg. That's a keg. I'm assuming they do something like if Darmouth score like 30 points. You get free beer or something, probably. <laughs> <laughs> No, they don't sell beer at college games, I don't think. Or they didn't when, when well, I was going. They might now, though. Free something. Free something. You got to do something with beer, man. Your logo. Your, your yeah, because when I, I haven't been to a game in probably <laughs> four or five years. Big. See, we're I'm converting Trevor, people. Yes. We're yes. converting people already. Do, yes. but now, they win. Their mascot's a keg. Who's, yep. and now what, here's the thing, though. What um, What is their actual nickname for the team, though? Like Dartmouth what? That that's it. I mean, well, I'm saying like it's not like you know, it's the Alabama Crimson Tide, the Ohio State Buckeyes, Michigan Wolverines. Like it's 
not no, Dartmouth they're, they're College. Just Dartmouth College. That that's it. They have no name. I'm just curious what it would be. The big you know green. What, it's the big um, green. It is the big green. Henceforth, why the keg costume actually is with green, and the person is wearing green, which has nothing to do with the keg. Yeah, so just get the dark. <laughs> it's like I said earlier. Some of these yeah. schools have a mascot that has nothing to do with the team name. Hey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Chipper, Chipper is just like my new second favorite team. Yep. Like I said, after after this, everybody everybody might be. Richie says he's getting a bobblehead. I, yeah, I want, I, 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 I want I a want, damn hat I now. Go, I want to go to a game of theirs now. <laughs> Just to see the cake. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, you're welcome. I just want to see the cake. You're welcome. Okay. I want to see what the keg does. Like, like, maybe do like I, do I have to just turn it over like like an actual keg shot or something? I want to do a keg stand off of him. I was just about to say, <laughs> when they score a touchdown, yeah. do they do a keg stand on the sideline? Yeah. <laughs> Get the cheerleaders all wasted. <laughs> <laughs> See, this may be my best number one ever. What can I say? Out, guys. <laughs> Gotta find a hat. See, aren't, yes, you, aren't you glad I picked college mascots now after all? Yes. yes. <laughs> like I said. Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> now all of a sudden, they may <laughs> this color. The these guys may run out of of material of hats and t-shirts and everything. <laughs> <laughs> they are about to run out fast. That's it's like awesome. for those who didn't That's know, awesome. now you know. That, awesome. that, that, <laughs> that that could be one of those like, and I'm not saying this for you know to give anybody any ideas, but I'm sure it may. Those guys that do that tattoo for the fantasy loser, here oh. you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what? I was just going to say, wait a minute. We What's do the that. side to this? <laughs> Some people would purposely. You got to get that yeah. kid tattoo, don't you? Are you sure? I, don't think it, I, don't think it, I don't think they have a problem with it. I really don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't think so either. It's a keg. You probably want to finish last night. Like, I got a keg tattooed on my arm. Like, I'll. It's not a punishment. That is pretty badass. I, I seen that, but I'm like, I wasn't I was hesitant to put it on the list because I didn't think anybody would know who the hell it is, but I'm glad you did. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Hey, you just know me. You know if it's beer related, you just put it on the list. I'm gonna like it. <laughs> that's awesome. That's that's awesome. You win. You 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 redeemed yourself, man. You redeemed yourself. Thank you. For this week. For yeah, yeah I was gonna say yeah. for this week. For this week, mm. do they pump? Do they pump the keg and have a spew after every TD? <laughs> That'd be awesome if they did. Yeah. And oh, it looks man. like as far as T-shirts and stuff, they've Nothing. got an independent websites make them. <clears throat> there is a. Looks like something's on Amazon that they actually have a polo shirt of it. Oh, but not the character, but just the nickname. But on, it looks like a couple Etsy sites. <clears throat> I wonder if I could get that for uh, in enough time to wear it to Birch is for the uh, draft party. Hey, I was going to say, there's, and I'm there's a saying. lot of them. They're only about, it looks like they're about $15 a shirt. I'm just saying, my birthday is next, is, is next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get a hat, a hat and a shirt, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm going straight to the custom bobblehead. Hey, if it's cheap, you fifteen. You are, you I, don't to say. I don't. I, I don't need. I'm not a special. I'm not a fancy guy. <laughs> there, there, there are, there are several. Yep, there are several people who have gone out, and especially this one that says "get." Pumped. I like this one. Yes, I want that, that one. Get pumped. <laughs> oh, I want that one. Yes. Yes. I gotta get it in black. <laughs> that that is awesome. That is awesome. Get pumped. Yeah. <laughs> Even they design on shirts is cool. Look at this one though. <laughs> like <clears throat> those are awesome. 
Those are. I like those that. Are. I like. What does that say? Duck Fartmouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's good. That is good. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure we could probably get a few representatives that uh, we can find a few hats and shirts. I'm sure we can. Oh, somebody's even got a coffee mug yeah, snapshot. <clears throat> they snapshotted coffee mugs. I to find, yeah, I'm going to get one of those. But yeah, looks like there's a red red bubble is a is a big uh, proponent of doing the spelling for the merch. So check out redbubble.com. There was a school hey, the mascot for was a camel. <clears throat> was that a camel? Yeah, the, the whole roll MF kegs t-shirt. I want that get pumped one though. I do too. <laughs> I do too. I'm gonna have so, to see that. That probably sure. only go up to like a two XL bastards. <laughs> probably do. If I just get a hat. A hat. <clears throat> I, I, think, I think that went over pretty well. When I saw uh, it, I had to make it my new number one. The best thing ever. If I would have knew, if I if, 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 if I would have knew about that, it would have been number two. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, it would have been number two. It, Put your biasness aside; it should be number one regardless. It, it, it's it a just, damn keg. For for our for our topic, it is a keg, but no, it's the button. I can't do it. I can't put it on my buck eye. It's it's it. it is the mascot. it is the perfect college mascot for a it really is show. It it had to round out and be the final one. What can it's an Ivy League school? That would make it better. That's though. awesome. <laughs> it's awesome because it's an Ivy League school. That's what makes it even better. It's what makes it absolutely better. It's great. Absolutely. They got, great. A, they got a ton of stickers for them too. Yeah. Yep. Campbell like I said, University. check out check out the. It looks like it's Redbubble.com. I check got that one up right now. <laughs> Well, we'll let we'll let everybody go check it out. We're gonna turn around and thank uh, three geeks, of course. Oh God, he's right. Uh, <laughs> Gaylord the, Camel. That's the name. <laughs> yeah, the Campbell. Yeah, the Fighting Camel. That's I've seen them before. Yeah, Camel University. So we want to thank uh, Jason for that and allowing us the opportunity yes. to share with them. Thank you as always. Every week so far, you know. We've enjoyed it. Well, hopefully a lot of their folks have enjoyed it too, especially this fun topic this week. <clears throat> Until next week when we will have a new list. A new guest? <laughs> oh, you we'll, come whenever you want, man. You, you, you I, yeah, I, I was going to say. You're the star. I mean, you're you the are, creator. You are the, you're creator. the creator. You are the, the creator. So the creator has... We open, just appreciate you letting us. Seven. We appreciate you letting us do this. Run with you know? this. Yeah. <laughs> we really do. I mean, and and we've got it back because of popular demand. Ironically, everybody's asked. It's like, when are you doing that again? You Luciano. Know? <clears throat> Luciano, man. Hey, when you get recognized in the grocery store and they're going, oh, I've seen you. You're on the list show. I'm like, dude, that hasn't been on for four months. Okay. People miss the show. So again, Adam, thank you. <laughs> and Star. Clint, like I said, we're just excited as all hell to be doing it again. We really like doing this and you know thanks for the idea, man. And in Well, one of these weeks we will get the warden on with you guys for something. And yeah. I'll take a back seat and keep an eye on the kids so that way she can get on. <laughs> yeah, we know yeah, the winner. Definitely, Gail is definitely due on. We know she'll have. We, I was gonna say. And I can't will, wait for one with her. Yeah, I was gonna say that one will be a fun one. That one will be a fun one. <clears throat> All right, for the creator, for Clint, I'm G. We will see you guys see tomorrow you. night. Dude, tomorrow I was night, gonna yeah. say we will be on tomorrow night for Dueling Aces. I will be back in my normal abode sprinting from a football game and i do mean gunning it <laughs> um as soon as that game's over we'll be in the car and hauling buns back to the house um but yes i will be back in studio my normal abode tomorrow 
and uh, for dueling aces as we cover after we've already had the MI aces draft last night, we, we will start to cover fantasy football and the interesting picks and uh, ordeals that occurred over the weekend. So can't wait to share that with you all. I really appreciate you guys tuning in tonight. And like I said, we'll see you all tomorrow night. See you on the flip side.